Okay, we're creating a summary query based on the winter 12 question paper 2 um, in this example. So, and it's question 39. It's asking for only micro eco cars that have been sold in Madrid. And the reason we know it's a summary is because it's asking for um, the data to be grouped by each salesperson. So, that's summarizing the salesperson's data. If you look at the database, we've got all the individual salespeople in here. Okay, um, but we want to group those together, and that when you're grouping things together, that's what a summary does or is. Okay, so this question is saying for each salesperson, that's how you know it's a summary. So you need to look for those keywords. So for each, okay, is what you're looking for, and that will determine that it's a summary. The other way is going to be by the number of fields. It's not as as much of a reliable method, but normally if it's two or three fields you can pretty much uh, be sure that it's a summary that you need to create. Okay, um, the first thing that you need to look for when you're creating a summary is which field you're grouping by. In this example, we're grouping by salesperson because it says for each salesperson. So when we go into access, we need to go into create query design and we just add our table and close and then we can add our fields. So we're going to add salesperson first. Whatever you're grouping by must go first. Then we need to add in model and price. It doesn't really matter the order of the other fields. Uh, the main thing is that the one you're grouping by goes first. Okay. Then, so in order to create a summary, because this is just a basic query at the moment where we can add criteria, we need to click on the totals button, which will allow us to create some calculations and summarize the data. So click on that, and you'll see that the total row here has been added to your database. Okay, so we're grouping by salesperson. So basically, all those those salespeople will be will have one occurrence of each salesperson, and we'll find out some totals for each salesperson. So the question, if we just look back at the question, it says that uh, we're calculating the total value of sales for each salesperson. So we need to add up price for each salesperson. So click on the drop down and that would be sum. And then if you look back at the question again, it says counts the number of these cars sold by each salesperson. So on model, we then count, okay? Right. The other part of this question is that we need to have only micro eco cars and those that are sold in Madrid. Now, if you're not sure what fields these are, just look at your table, okay? So I've got the original table here. As you can see, Madrid is on location and the model micro eco is on model. So we need to add model and location so that we can put that criteria into R query so that we get the correct result. If you use query design as I've done, it makes it a lot easier to add um, the criteria in and do the summary at the same time. So I'm just going to add location. And I've already got model here, but we're counting on this model. So I need to add another one so that I can put the criteria of micro eco. So I've got micro eco. And I will also put Madrid as the location. Okay, now we only need salesperson model and price in our query, so we untick these two. It will still find the criteria, but it won't show up those in our result. If you then go back to design and run, you can now see that we've grouped each salesperson. We have the number of cars that they sold, the number of models they sold, and how much each of their total sales were. That's what we're looking for. You'll notice that this row has no salesperson in it. That's because there are sales, uh, there are some cars that have not yet been sold. So they don't have a salesperson. They have a value, but they don't have a salesperson. So what we need to do is we do need to modify that in our summary so that we get the correct answer. So go back to design view, and you need to basically put in sold, and we only want the cars that have been sold. So we need to put yes and then run and that will then just give us 
only the cars that have been sold. The only the reason they've been sold is because they've got a salesperson and we only want the result to look like this. So that's why we have to put sold as yes. Okay.